it's running. So the quality is not that good, as you can see here. Okay, this is late night, but it's a quick video I want to make about the new model that came out. Uh, I made a video in 2020 when you can swap the face uh, using a webcam. And I was using uh, pre-made faces that they were trained with, and then you can deploy it to that software. So you can only do that with the specific faces, or you have to go through a lot of uh, learning curve to train those faces and then to use it on the model. Now, this one is pretty amazing because you can basically launch it on any computer. I'm running on a Mac. It's pretty slow on the Mac. Tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, trying it on an RTX 4090. So I expect on the Vita GPU will be, uh, be uh, way faster. And uh, the good thing with this is it's easy to install. You have it here and you can take any picture, any picture online, put them on your face to do a live video, or you can just clone it uh, to another picture, to another video. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to download and how to install it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to uh, GitHub. And then there's going to be this repo here called Deep Life Cam. So you're going to clone that repo. going to copy, open a terminal, and then we're going to clone it, right? So we're going to click clone, git clone, and paste the, 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 the repo. Once that, you're going to go inside the repo. In my case, it's Deep Life. Come. And once you are inside, you're going to see all these folders. So the next step is I recommend you to have Conda, if you have Conda installed, uh, to create an environment. If not, you can install on your own machine, but I always use uh, environments, so you isolate it. Okay. And tomorrow, I'm probably going to do a container and an easy way to launch this. Okay. So once you are inside the container, so you create uh, Conda, create, in my case, I did Deep Life. And once you're inside, then you're going to install the requirements. So the requirements may be not working for you. So what I did is I'm going to do sudo vim requirements, or you can open visual code. If you have visual code installed, you can do code and dot, and it's going to open visual code for you. And what I did, you go to requirements, and then you uncheck this one's here. If you put a, a comment in front of the command, it's going to uh, gray it out, so it's not going to be installed. And remove all this for at least for Mac. Okay, I'm running on an M3 Mac, and this one we're having conflict with it, so I have to delete them or remove them and then install the specific ones. So once you do that, go back to the terminal, and then you're gonna do pip install requirement.txt, and it's gonna install everything you need. After that, there's only two more things you need to install you need TensorFlow and you need uh, ONNX. So for that, you're going to go back to the repo. Okay. So once you go back to the repo, go here. And first of all, you have to download the models. You download these two models and you're going to copy and paste them on the model folder that you have on the repo that you download. So for example, here we got the models. If you go, if I go inside that folder, you're going to see that I have these two files that I download and they're available on the repo. Okay. So. After doing that, the, the requirement install, you're going to go down if you have an NVIDIA GPU, and this video is going to be for tomorrow for the NVIDIA, but you go down to Core ML, which is basically for Apple Silicon, so we can use the GPU on the GPU, on the on the Mac. So we're going to run these two commands to install ONX, ONNX uh, runtime on the Silicon, and then with this command, we're going to launch the. So you run that, it's going to take you, it's going to take a couple seconds, and then it's going to open this uh, window here. Pretty easy. You select the face. I already download two faces. They say I download uh, Ryan Reynolds and Scarlett Johnson. I do. Uh, they say uh, Ryan. Select the face. If you can have faces like this, will be much better. And then you're gonna do uh, live if you wanna go and use the webcam or the FaceTime camera. And if you want a face enhancer, uh, it will really increase uh, the the quality of the image. But in the Mac case, it's very slow right now. So tomorrow on the 4090. It should be way faster. So I do that and then do life. Gonna run a couple things on the back end. And as you can see here, it's running. So the quality is not that good, as you can see here. It's not that good. But if we do, for example, if I go, oh, even that function from the Mac works. So you can basically use this for OBS or any other software you use, Zoom, any of that. So I'm gonna close it really quick here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add now the enhancer so you can see how the quality is going to be how I improve the quality as you can see here uh the quality is much better but way slower okay 
So I gotta stop. Okay, that. so now that you have it, now tomorrow I will be making a video uh, running on an RTX 4090 on a Linux machine, and I will probably create like a container on a way easier, um, uh, easy command so you can install really easy on your computer. So I hope you like this video, and I see you on the next one.